It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Presenting Wordsworth. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Oh, Rossetti Wordsworth, magical story maker here to make stories with you. Hello. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, just stirring the leaves in the water. Mm. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, Jackson? Oh, hello, Jelly. <laughs> I'm making a magic mixture. <gasps> yeah, I'm just putting some glitter in. Oh, wow, <laughs> can I help? No, Jelly, this is my magic mixture. Now, I just need one little sweetie. That Please, goes Jackson. No! Oh, Hello, my little bundles of fun. Hello, Rosetti. <laughs> now, who would like to come and help me do some planting? Uh, planting? Oh, oh, yes, please, Rosetti. I would like to come with you because Jackson's making a magic mixture and he won't let me help. Oh, never mind, Jelly. Come on, you can help me. Let's leave Jackson to his mixture. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to plant? Mm -hmm. One of these. <gasps> oh, what are they? Magic seeds, of course. Magic seeds? Mm -hmm. well, what will they grow into? Well, let's see. Oh. We've got a pot with some soil in it. Mm -hmm. Can we plant the seed now? Yes, all right. I'm going to make a hole with my finger. Yes. Drop one of the seeds in. In it goes. <laughs> Oh, or will it grow fast? Magic seeds usually do. Oh, oh, well, wait a minute. I've just got to go and get something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's a bit heavy. <laughs> oh, here you are, Rosetti. Water. Yes, all plants need water to make them grow. You're quite right, Jelly. Thank you. Wow, that was fast. Hey, that's mm. just what it needed. Yeah. Here we are, you can give this back to Jackson. OK. I'm not going to give the watering can back to Jackson. He wouldn't share with me, so I'm going to use his can to make a story. <laughs> there, serves him right. Will you help me make the story by joining in with the magic words? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Oh, it's a playbook. Oh, and it's called Making Mud Pies. <laughs> Mum's helping Emma, Freddie and Sam to put on their welly boots. One welly. Because today, they're going to make some special pies. Two. But not just any old pies, they're going to make mud pies. <laughs> Everyone's wellies are on and it's time to begin. These are our play clothes, so it doesn't matter if we get them dirty. Sam rides on his green tractor and Emma has a green tractor too. Oh, look! So does Freddy. Off they go in search of mud. 
they found some and they scoop it up in their spades and drop it in their tractors. They need lots of mud to make mud pies. The mud is too dry, so Emma runs off to find the watering can. She fills it up with water. They drip and splash it over the mud and mix it around. Splurge! Splosh! Squidge! Squodge! Splat! Splash! The mixture is ready. They splat it into a bucket and pat it down. Then the best bit. They turn the bucket over and pat the bottom. And when they move the bucket, oh, there's a mud pie. <laughs> it feels so squidgy and squashy and splurgy. Hmm. <laughs> Let's show mum our dirty hands. <laughs> Time to clean up. Don't turn it on too much, otherwise we're going to get wet. Right, hey! It's so much fun getting messy and making mud pies. We've had a lovely day. Ooh, that was very messy, wasn't it? I loved it. <gasps> Talking of messy fingers, I really want to get on with this gardening. Jelly, are you going to come and help me? Oh, no, thank you, Rosetti. That story gave me an idea. Mm, uh, I'm having a pretend tea party with mud pies and magic mixture. Oh, mm. very nice too. Well, you don't mind if I carry on with this, do you? Oh, no, no, it's fine. No. I'm really in the mood for a spot of gardening. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, it's Norris. Norris the gnome. <laughs> Norris the gnome is always at home in a flower bed or under a tree. He sits there for hours while he counts all the flowers and looks after the garden for me. Uh, more magic mixture, Jelly. <laughs> oh, yes, please, Jelly. It's delicious. <laughs> have you got some magic mixture too, Jelly? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, and I've got mud pies. I'm having a pretend tea party. Oh, can I come to your tea party? No. But I'd love a pretend mud pie. Well, you can't have any. You wouldn't share with me, and so I'm not sharing with you. Oh, well, no. give me just a bit of your mud pie. Come on, Jack. No, no, let me no, have Jackson. Let me, let me the... <gasps> Jackson, you've broken it. Oh, I'm sorry, <gasps> Jelly. I didn't mean to. I just wanted a bit of mud pie. Well, I'm not playing with you anymore. I'd better tidy up that broken plate. <laughs> Mm. Oh dear, what a mess. Now clean it up, Rosetti. Oh no, no, you shouldn't touch broken plates or glass. Let me deal with this. Okay. Mm. There. Mm. Now what should we do with it? Oh, I know. Put it in the story machine. Mm. All right then. <laughs> oh, please make a very magical story because Jelly is so angry. <laughs> or will you help too with your imagination? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> What's it going to be? <laughs> it's a sniff and wag story. And it's called The Fairy Feet. Sniff and wag are friends. When the day ends and the sky grows dark, they sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. Tonight is the night of the fairy fate. There's going to be a snail race and a picnic with lots of fairy cakes. Sniff and Wag can't wait. First, they're going to have some fun with a friendly looking leprechaun. Come and try my lucky dip. You might find something gold inside it. Dip in your nose and see. 
I'd like to try, please, barks Sniff. He dips in his nose and pulls out a short, stumpy stick. And it's gold! That's perfect! Wag has a go. She dips in her nose and pulls out a lovely round stone. And it's ever so shiny and gold. Thank you very much, bark the dogs, and they trot off to watch the snail race. A little yellow fairy is lining up the snails. They look very smart. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to start, cries the fairy. Come on, Blue, I'm cheering for you, barks Sniff. I want the red one, yaps Wag. Ready, steady, go! The snails set off, but they're ever so slow. You'll have to go faster than that, you know, says the little yellow fairy, and she helps them along with a wave of her wand. And now they're almost at the finish. It looks like Red's going to win it, but here comes Blue at the final minute. Congratulations, Blue. You've won. Hooray, barks Sniff. Well done, Red. You tried your best, yaps Wag. It's time for the picnic under the tree, and lots of creatures gather to feast. The little yellow fairy has made tasty cakes, and she's put them on china plates. But Wag drops her stone on a plate and... Oh, dear. It breaks. Uh-oh, she yaps. Whatever shall I do? Why not use some of my slime for glue? says the blue snail who is picnicking nearby. What a good idea! The snail leaves a trail of sticky goo and it sticks the plate so it looks brand new. Thank you, yaps Wag. Soon the cakes have all been eaten and it's time for the dogs to go home. Goodbye, they bark and they trot across the park. Good night. Sleep tight, my little friends. Tomorrow we will play again. Oh, uh, did you enjoy that story, Jelly? Oh, yes, thank you, Jackson. Mm. I really liked it when the snail mended the broken plate for the fairy. Jelly! Mm. Jackson! Uh, look at this! I've got something to show you! Uh, oh, well, where have they gone? <laughs> oh, there you are! <laughs> oh, it's lovely, Rosetti! I like the gnome. Oh, yes, yes, he's called Norris. Oh. Hello, Norris. Yes, but that's not what I wanted to show you. Look! Oh! oh. A banana. Oh, you grow a banana, Rosetti. Well, can I eat it? Well, I thought we could all share it. Hmm. Things are much better when you share them, aren't they, you two? Oh, yes. Hmm. Yeah. Here we are. There's a piece for Jelly mm. and a piece for a Jackson mm. and one piece for me. Mm. Thank, Thank you, Rosetti. Mm. Now, while you're enjoying your banana, I'll go and make us a story. What shall I use? <laughs> we could use one of the children's pictures. Good idea, Jackson. Which one? That one. This one here? Yeah. Mm. Oh, the clown it is. Mm. <laughs> there we go. Will you help us? Hmm. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. What's it going to be? Oh, it's a blue cow story. Yes. And it's called Blue Cow and the Fancy Dress Parade. One day, Blue Cow saw a beautiful fancy hat blowing in the wind. I wonder what it would be like to be dressed up in fancy dress. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where everyone is dressed up, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a fancy dress parade. Then they arrived. Blue Cow couldn't believe her eyes. 
Lots of children were wearing all sorts of fancy dress costumes. Just then she heard the sound of squabbling behind her. It's not fair! Said Laura and stamped her foot. I want to be a fairy too. I don't want to be a knight in shining armor. Well, she can't be, can she, Mummy? Piped her sister Rosie. I'm the fairy. Oh dear, said their mother. Maybe I can help, said Blue Cow. Goodness, exclaimed the mother. That's a wonderful costume. What an idea to come as a blue cow. Actually, this isn't a costume. I really am a blue cow. If you like Laura, you can ride on my back. Oh! Gasped Laura, smiling. That would be wonderful. Then I wouldn't mind being a knight in shining armor at all. So Laura stopped being jealous of Rosie and climbed up onto Blue Cow. But now Rosie was crying. It's not fair! She cried. I want to ride on Blue Cow too! Oh, Mooey! Nobody's riding on me unless you can both stop being jealous and start enjoying yourselves. There's plenty of room for two. Sorry! Said Laura and Rosie. And Laura helped her sister up onto Blue Cow's back. Lovely procession began! Shouted the judge into his megaphone. Blue Cow led with Laura and Rosie. Then came the banana, the chicken, the dragon, and all the pirates, princesses, witches, and other fancy dress costumes. The winner of the fancy dress competition, said the judge, is the marvellous Blue Cow. Moo, not again, said Blue Cow. This isn't a fancy dress. I really am a Blue Cow. The judge blushed. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. He apologised. In that case, the winner is the clown. Everybody clapped and cheered, and even Rosie and Laura weren't jealous at all. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a fancy dress parade. Everyone knows that cows can't be in fancy dress parades, but we know they can, don't we? Uh, Laura and Rosie found out that it was better to share, didn't mm, they? That's yeah. right. And thank you for sharing your banana, Rosetti. Mm. Yes, it was yummy. Mm. Oh, yummy. Yummy, that rhymes with... Oh, <laughs> tummy, 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 tummy. Yummy, yummy in your tummy. tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, didn't that tickle? <laughs> Look, look, look. <laughs> it's nearly morning. The children will be here soon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my sweets. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. and see us soon. Come and make some more stories soon.